Good evening, how you all going? Uh, this afternoon I'm going to review uh, another James Bogues beer. It's the uh, James Bogues Pure. Okay, this is uh, another Tasmanian lager, of course. Uh, this beer was uh, introduced in... Uh, let me have a look here. It was launched in 2009. It's a super premium uh, beer made with 100% Tasmanian ingredients. Okay, so everything comes from Tasmania, which is uh, interesting. Uh, this beer retails for about uh, mid fifties, fifty-five dollars a carton. Uh, very uh, similar to Steinlager Pure, which is also owned by Lion Nathan, who own James Bowers. Okay, so uh, we're going to get into this and uh, have a look and a taste. Good fizz, as to be expected. It's in a green bottle, but it did come out of the carton, so... Uh, and it should be too fresh, so it shouldn't be too scuffed. Okay, the colour there. Uh, it's a light straw colour, very light. Uh, it looks a bit like a... a bit like a pills. Very light. Uh, the smell. Yeah, I get a bit of a uh, bit of a hop smell there with uh, with malt. Uh, no adjuncts to use in this beer. It's 100% pure, so they say. Right, over uh, the taste test. Cheers. Mm, body is very light, very light body. Uh, the taste is sweet, multi flavour to it. And then uh, I think they use uh, Tasmanian Halatau hops. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure I heard they use uh, Tasmanian Halatau hops. But uh, it's uh, this is very drinkable. It's uh, very. Um, very clean. There's no um, there's no aftertaste left lingering. The bittering is very mild, very mild. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on, on flavour wise. Just a, a sweet malt and um, halatau hops. Uh, is it worth the price? Uh, I wouldn't think so. Uh, I accidentally, I got this cut by mistake, I was in a rush, I had to be somewhere, so I, I just went with it. I know it'd be drinkable, but, uh, uh, you know, you get a lot, of, you get a, lot of, get a lot better beers for an extra, you know, $15, you can say 15 bucks and get um, a nice German pills if you want to all malt, but there's heaps of beers out there. Uh, like I said, flavour-wise, not a lot going on. It's drinkable, there's nothing wrong with it, it's a, it's a nice beer, but, um, very sessionable, but uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll give this a uh, I'll give this a B minus. It's um, yeah, it's it's good. It's drinkable. It's uh, appeals to the masses once again, but um, yeah, it's not going to set. It's going to set your, te uh, your taste buds a lot, but uh, yeah. So, righto, that wraps it up. And uh, until next time, take care and uh, just remember, don't stress. Have a bee.